you know. Ah. All right. Yo, how many viewers do we have, bro? Uh, right now, I saw nine. Hell yeah. That's the Mr. LZ name, you know, bringing in the crowds. Yeah. What's your tag? Odie. Yeah. Um, O-A-T-Y. O-A-T-Y. All right. So uh, this match is going to be between Eevee and Danimal. Uh, Danimal, a Mario main, because he's even got the, the cowboy hat. And uh, Eevee playing Ivysaur. Evie's from uh, New England. He just moved here recently. Oh, really? Yeah, he said he was PR'd in like his sub region, but like, I don't, I don't know if he like was trying to say he was good off that or not. I don't know. I mean, but I mean, he's not bad. I like played him. So. I mean, I'm 15th in the 64 PR. That doesn't say much. Well, yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Looking at uh, it's it, it's hard to tell with uh, with PM scenes though. You never know how big it is. Yeah. I think the nice thing about our scene was that everyone that's just kind of good. Dude, you guys had a really good turnout today. I was pretty surprised. Yeah, um, we, we've we been having a few months in the 64 community where we just weren't able to really meet together. We were having, we lost our um, weekly venue. Was it winter? Um, fall, winter. Yeah. Uh, like, summer started going down. We were like, it's the summer, everyone's going out. Um, but we've all kind of made this obligation of, we're yeah. going this Wednesday. Um, and we planned it a week, in, uh, a month in advance. And so we got so many people here. We still, yeah, hell yeah. A lot of it's been working out the rust, but seeing some uh, good plays anyways, so hopefully next time we'll have a lot of really good matches again. All right, do you know anything about the Ivysaur uh, Mario matchup? Uh, not the matchup itself, but I do know these two and how they play. Yeah, I do know, I know Danimals. He's been around since like way back in the day. Yeah, I mean Ivysaur, it's, it's kind of tricky because he'll be kind of mixing it up with the Vine Whips and the um, a lot of his Vines. But you also have to yeah, be careful with the seed. Here. Dude, I didn't know that that did that, and he got me with it last stock of our set. I was Aww. so sad. I was yeah. like, what is this? Yeah, Ivysaur is really tricky. He reminds me a lot of um, Ultimate's Venusaur. I mean, Ivysaur. The only difference is, oh my Ooh. god. The cannon. That was like perfectly spot. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But Ivysaur is just a bit more dangerous than he is in that game. He has the solar beam, which charges over time, I believe. Um, then he also has a lot of those vines that can just get you, especially I think it's up B, which has the sweet spot on it. I think it's up air and down air are worse in this game too. They're like smaller, but like they're still amazing. Like, yeah, they're still there, just not as bad. Also like, his nair, I think his is down air is literally so insane in a, in a, oh, his Nair's better in Ultimate or in this I think game? it's better in this one. Yeah, his, Actually, his Nair's weird in Ultimate. In Ultimate, it's like it's, you can combo into yeah. it. In this one, it sends you quite a bit, mm -hmm. a bit of ways, and he gets the edge guard there. Um, but in terms of this matchup itself, it's going to be on Danimal to try and um, space in and out of the Vine Whips um, yeah. so he can get in and get his combos when he can. Seems like those Wave Bats Fireballs are like a great way to get in because uh, he's like catching him with the Fireball right when he wants to jump and landing like right in front of him. Yeah. The problem is that if he tries to do it when he's already in the air, he's going to get caught a lot. That up smash won't kill. He, now you see there, he uses the upbeat of, um, I believe it's upbeat or it's maybe neutral beat. They've set up the seeds um, just so when he's recovering, he's got, a, he's got that covered. Um, but now he's off stage. I think that's neutral B. You, now, the interesting Sci thing about um, Ivysaur is the fact that he does have Tether Grab, so he can recover from quite a ways. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of hard for Danimal to really get that edge guard. As we saw, he kind of had to get him close so he could get that uh, forward air earlier. Ooh, nice forward smash, but it won't kill. That Mario outfit's sick. I oh, know, it's awesome. Looking great, Mario. Ooh, nice oh, use of the seed, and wow. that'll kill him over the top. Get with the kill off the top. Yeah, that was sick, though. That was sick. It wasn't even like, like it was like a softer hit too. So yeah, it, like yeah, it ended yeah. up slowly. Oh, he wanted that. It's something that really didn't look like it would kill, but when it killed, I was like, that makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. It was Ooh, very I good and fresh. very well timed. Oh, that's the first time I've seen him not a rising aerial from ledge. Oh, he's ledge dashing now. He's hot. He, he like does a lot of rising fairs and uh, like uh, stuff and rising there from ledge. Like, it's pretty good to see him ledge dashing. Yeah. Oh. oh. I like the sucking on that. Oh, nice good. job using the, Down the vines. Whoa. Oh, he went over. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That was really good. I find this platform really frustrating when it comes on the recovery. It's just like, 
kind of rough sometimes. Like on the one hand, for the recover, it's like, okay, I can recover a different angle, and so I can kind of just outspace my opponent. At the same time, you're also kind of a sitting duck there. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, if they, they, they can like immediately go for the read, but sometimes even if they can immediately go for the read, they're still going to be a little bit late, so they, they're just going to have to try to set up for some pressure stuff. Animal did a really good thing there where he like he used his second jump and immediately upbeat to get around the down air, yeah. and now he's got him cornered. He's been recovering really well. I oh. honestly doesn't seem that easy in this matchup because Mario is like a pretty linear recovery, and I'm sure is a really yeah. good edge guarding game. A lot of it is just finding out like where exactly you can space that up B yeah. and where you can space that jump. Oh, he used the cape on oh, it. Oh, I don't think he knew that it switched. Yeah, I mean, it, it was kind of in a weird position where you weren't sure if it hit, but it definitely did. Oh, no, yeah, it de definitely did. It, it, wait, is his face in those balloons? Uh, oh no! There, it's, it's the other Tio. Yeah, there is a face in there. I think it's um. It's uh the Olimar player. Uh, yeah. Comas or Kumas. Yeah. Kumas. Um. Oh, nice grab on the ledge there. Just barely getting it. We were down to last stock for game one. Opting to wait. Oh, but he's got that solar beam. That's very dangerous. Kind of wanting to keep him off stage. Grab the whips. Oh. Doesn't get the up air in time. that down here. Alright, now he's got a really he space wants a forward himself. Smash. Watch. Oh. Dude, oh. this uh this solar beam, pretty no, terrifying. This is the worst mind game because you have to be careful of it constantly, but that down smash is not gonna do it. He'll be able to recover with those down airs. Especially oh. Oh. solar beam? Oh, oh he's just off. And he uses the cape though, avoid the up B. So Opting close, to give so him space. Close. Yeah, this has been very hard for Danimal. He's really ha been forced to give space when he really needs to get in. Finally, the main threat's gone, though. But he's at such high percent that he could die to anything now, too, you know? A B tether. Uh, oh, he oh. grabbed the ledge, but he grabbed it again as he jumped nice, off. Nice, that nice, nice. Ivy Star's pretty light. Easy. I'm surprised he lived that long, honestly. Yeah, it's just finding that kill move. Mario has them. It's just especially hard for him to get in on it. Yeah, Mario has very, very short range. So finding a character like Ivy Sword, yeah. obviously, like super frustrating. Because I've had matches where it's kind of hard to zone him with like slower projectiles. But when you have like a built-in disjoint with your um, with your Vine Whips, and then you've also got Razor Leaf to add mm -hmm. pressure, it's kind of hard for him to go in. So we kept seeing him use a uh, Fireball to get in and out. It was slow to rack up damage, but he was able to get in every so often and punish. Yeah, those wave bounce Fireballs got him like pretty much all of his openings the first two stocks. He just like spammed it for a little bit and uh, took Eevee a while to adapt, honestly. All right, See, so it, we are now on P2. Um, it's so nice. I love this skin, it's really good. The hard like black wood floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really like the mod that uh, he put together for this tournament. Yeah, it's this really is, good. Uh, this is Up Smash. He, um, Fox player, he put a <laughs> up Smash and Prey? Game. Yeah. Yeah. No, he put a lot of effort into this. Mm -hmm. It's really good. All the skins, uh, the, uh, all the just the bands the band thing probably that flacco with the cowboy hat on yeah i love that that's uh, I, I remember when that was our emote for uh, polarity i don't know if we still have emotes doubt it but right now we're about even with percentile he opts oh, to hold it and then gets the back yeah, air that'll it. kill him that was very well done by danimal we saw that last match where um evie was actually able to grab ledge but this time not able to yeah this time he timed the back air a lot better but maybe evie didn't drift as far back this time either Right, edge guard opportunity oh, for Oh, he had the double jump oh, the whole nice time. He tricked dodge. him. He tricked him. Oh, misses the down smash, but now here he comes. Those oh, oh breaks it out with good the air out of there. Setting up the seed. He's able to get the cape. I'm not even sure if Danimal knew if that actually would do it in that first game, but now that he notices, he's probably going to start abusing it a bit. Well, he's still living though. He's going to use the down B to recover. Nice. Nice coverage. That back here is humongous. Did I save the score? I didn't. Oh, I gave it to Eevee, not a uh, not animal. Someone's probably yelling in chat. Oh, nice, nice down throw forward air. Uh, that's probably a setup, honestly. Ivy sort of is like around that type of floaty where he gets set up on like that. I don't, I don't think he's floaty enough to get out. Danimal right now with a good lead. Um, he can be very scary when he, when he has the lead. I feel like he puts way more pressure. He's a bit more um, open to being aggressive, yeah. and we're kind of seeing that right now. The way he uses fireballs when he's in the lead, he just like pushes Eevee into the corner as soon as possible. Ooh, but it seems like he's gonna be a bit more. Yeah, see, and then he's gonna. Oh, he didn't even fireball one more time. He's just oh going for it. Oh my God, the mat! Oh, he wow. got the upbeat. Is that gonna? Oh, he oh. got it. But he's clearly.
couldn't grab no, he's ledge alive, because he's alive. of it. Damn. That was really good coverage by Danimal because it forced the hitbox to come out and not grab ledge. Danimal just decided to go ham now. No, he's, I, he's super scary with the lead. Oh, shielding nice. on the seed and the Razor Leaf is going to try and just get some more damage. He's got the Solar Beam saved up now. Danimal showing no fear. Are we going to see the Laser Beam? He's going to just keep caping those seeds. Oh, just misses the dash grab. Nice um, wave dash back so we can dash in. Yeah, yeah. There's the fair setting him up. Wall oh, jumps. good wall jump. Oh. oh, he messed up the up B and he goes Locked right under head, the stage. Head. But this is still a very, very comfortable lead. Uh, oh, oh, there it is. Too light. Ivysaur is so light. Yeah. I was, like, kind of worried about playing Ivysaur, and then, like, when I realized that, like, that like, he dies to, like, 100 and 100 to, like, just yeah. normal aerials. Like, if you can't get in, that's one thing. Danimal, when he realized, I have the stock lead now, yeah. I can be a bit more aggressive, he was able to get that damage so quickly there. And he wasn't... Uh, uh, he wasn't able to, like, set up his, like, uh, forward air... Yeah. Wall, like the one thing about the one thing like about Ivy Sword, he loves his space, but like he also really likes to go in. So once he sets up and he gets comfortable with that space, then he'll go in yeah, to seriously yeah. punish. But Danimal never gave him that space, and he wasn't able to do anything with it. Ivysaur seems like really, really comfortable when the Razor Leaf is out there, and he wasn't really able to get anything out at the time. Yeah. I think it's uh the uh, Kumis Kumas? Kumas versus uh, Danimal probably. Let me see. I was that Loser's Quarters? That was Loser's Quarters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so semis would be Kumas versus... Uh, and then Winner will play Forest. Then uh, Forest will play uh, Up Smash and Prey, probably. Because he'll probably go Game & Watch. He might stay Snake uh, against the Loser's Finals.